guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. Welcome to a new little series that I'm putting on called Monday Motivation. <laughs> Basically every Monday for a few weeks um, I just want to post a kind of short little conceptual video just to kind of like I don't know shift your perspective on your way of learning make it more efficient so yeah I really hope you find it useful in some way okay so there is a principle which you may have heard of you may not have it's called the Pareto principle or there was a book written about it by um Koch 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 I don't know. But yeah, Koch wrote a book about it as well, so you might have seen it from that. But effectively, it is called the 80-20 principle. And at first, I really didn't understand it, so I'm gonna do my best to explain it. The idea is that 80% of whatever outcome you're getting is coming from 20% of the input. So 80% of the value is coming from 20% of the work that you put in. 80% of that final output, that grade, that success, is coming from 20% of the work that you put in. And at first I just couldn't conceptualize it. I didn't understand how that would work. So I'm gonna try and explain it more. So imagine when you're working towards something, not everything that you're doing is necessarily the most effective way to use your time to work towards the result. Like not all of the eight hours that you're gonna spend revising are gonna be the most effective bit which are gonna get you closer towards a grade. And in fact, that kind of 80% of everything that you have learnt is probably coming from a very select bit of time within that time where you are most focused, most effective, and truly deeply learning the information. So if you think you might have all your note making, you're like highlighting, you're coloring in diagrams, your research, your filing in your organization, planning your revision, to-do lists, all those sorts of things, like general mind maps. They're all things which are necessary, 100%, you've got to do them, but they are not necessarily the most output defining activity. For me, the part of my revision where I was absolutely learning the most was when I was most uncomfortable doing the revision and the times where it was hardest. So the times that I would do blurting. If you've not seen my video on that, go watch it because it's just active recall. It's actively recalling as much as you can about a chapter or a topic and then comparing everything that you've written to your notes and comparing and seeing what you didn't know because that is instantly telling you where you're at. It's forcing you to recall your knowledge and then you're really quickly learning what you don't know. I think past paper questions as well, that might only make up 20% of your revision, but I think that especially for science, it is that which is going towards, you know, like 80% of your final grade. Because if you're not using mark schemes, you just won't get the points, you won't get the marks. Same with, say, English. If you never write practice essays, which might be 20% of your revision, then there's absolutely no way you're gonna do well. So the whole idea behind this is smart and effective revision. Do less but do it better. It's up to you to identify which 20% of your revision you think is the most output defining activity. Where are you learning the most? Like which bit of your revision is it that's actually forcing you to properly engage with the content and to learn it the most and is probably affecting your grades the most? And then do it more do it better, focus your time on it more, make sure that when you're doing that activity that you haven't got distractions around and that you're really just focusing because that is probably where you're gleaning the most. So if that's 80% of the results from that 20% of work, what is the other 80% of the work? Obviously it's still stuff you need to do and the final 20% of that result will come from all the other work that you're doing. Like pouring through a textbook just to see which key facts you don't know, that is time consuming, but that might get you one or two extra marks, you know? So it's the meticulous revision that will garner you all the extra marks, but it's that deep focused learning, memorizing type revising that often gets you like the bulk of the understanding and the bulk of the knowledge. So yeah, I still think it's a flawed concept and it's obviously not like just 20% of the work, that's just the concept, but I think you you can learn a lot from that concept and I think it can force you to reevaluate the way that you go about working and just like use your time more effectively at the end of the day because we all want to spend less time doing work. Interestingly the 80-20 principle is also applicable to a lot of areas of life like they say 80% of your social troubles are coming from 20% of the relationships that you have. So most relationships you have with people are great but maybe 20% of those friends that you have or whatever a bit toxic and they are causing you 80% of the problems and then it's just about recognizing that and then 
thinking like how can I cut down those people? How can I make them affect my social troubles less? We love interesting concepts on a Monday. <laughs> anyway, good luck with any work that you need to get done today, whether that is work work or homework or revision, uni, school, whatever. <laughs> Bye!